serverless is great. In a number of ways, it's truly a transformative technology. And it's spreading. Every year, more hosts jump into this space to offer their own function-as-a-service FaaS platforms. From AWS, GCP, and Azure, to the Edge offerings available on Cloudflare, Fastly, and Akamai, to the open source options like OpenFast. But as with anything, serverless is not without its drawbacks. From the uncapped costs problem to the how do I run this locally problem, there are obviously a few areas where the developer experience could be improved. And that's to be expected, given how nascent the technology still is. But there is one issue that's a deal breaker for many devs, an issue so off-putting that it actually prevents them from adopting serverless at all. That issue is the cold start problem. In the tech world, there are actually two things referred to as the cold start problem. One has to do with starting marketplaces. That usage of the term was popularized by Andrew Chen in his book of the same name, which is a great book, by the way. The other use of the term cold start refers to the fact that serverless functions have a cold state and a warm state. When they're warm, a request sent to a serverless function can return a response very quickly. For most cloud offerings, that means as little as single digit milliseconds. But in a cold state, there is a noticeable delay in the request processing. Cold start delays can range from hundreds of milliseconds to multiple seconds, so maybe noticeable is an understatement. In this paper, the authors take on the serverless cold start problem. They examine why it happens, then they spin up an open fast system and augment its internal scaling function with a machine learning model. That model is optimized to minimize cold starts while also minimizing overall costs. First, a little background. 